Um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview on uh, what we do, uh, the steps in, uh, involved in nano protecting a shower or any glass for that matter and protecting it against uh, non-staining, mineral uh, etching, uh, hard water spotting and also making it very easy clean to maintain. The respirator, we'll be wearing this when we apply nanotechnology. We uh, do not apply um, any of these products without being respirated up. You'll notice I've got a nitrate glove on both hands. Uh, if the shower, in this case I've restored the shower um, back and we're all set to uh, nano protect it. Um, if it has any uh, really stubborn water spotting on it, uh, up to three to four months old, you can get away with just using our um, pre-nano. You'll see there it's got pre-nano, which is exactly what it's used for, and restoration. So it'll just pull all that uh, mineral etching that's starting to attach to the glass without needing a full restoration. So this is just our pre-nano paste, uh, obviously a smaller bottle, that's the 500ml commercial one. Uh, we have a pump sprayer here, just a typical old uh, polymer or plastic pump sprayer which will um, uh, fill the nanotechnology into um, the bottle. And uh, we'll uh, detanker this. This is nanotechnology here. There's 125 mils. This product is a high count nano. It comes from Stuttgart, Germany. Uh, and 125 mils is enough to do around about four or more standard domestic showers. So you can expect to use about 20 odd mils per shower for good coverage. This is a nano gel. Part of the uh, warranty is that a client gets a nano uh, recharge gel and maintenance gel, especially for hard water areas. And then we've got our application cloth. So we'll just uh, get started on this and we'll uh, give you some uh, brief um, snippets on how we go about uh, applying the protection. Okay, so this is the pre-nano paste that you can get off us, which will make sure the glass is completely clean. Uh, you pour the nanotechnology into a pump sprayer, cap it, and this will allow you to manually prime the pump sprayer so you are applying the nanotechnology in a controlled manner, um, and not too lightly and not too thickly. The respirator is a must, um, only about an inch of footprint on the glass, that's all you need. Okay, apply it um, in a controlled manner across the glass, left to right, and overlapping each application. It should be a nice gel finish, nice thick gel finish. Uh, almost like you've smeared honey over it. Now this is important, it needs to be systematically wiped on using a small footprint of about an inch square on the microfiber cloth. Uh, left to right, left to right, overlapping each pass. Um, and this uh, is one of the most important steps in nanotechnology application. If you get this right, you have no issues with the product lasting um, the time period it's designed to do. Uh, and it's left to right, left to right. When you've actually applied it, um, and you need to get it on there pretty quickly before it evaporates, you need to then go up and down the left and right side of the frame to make sure it's uh, completely covered the whole frame, the whole area and the whole surface. Reapply a small amount up and down just to cap it. Um, so you're overlapping the area you've just passed over left to right. You're actually going up and down the pane. That's just absolutely guarantees you've got good coverage. It'll go misty. That's what it's supposed to do. It's a gel product and it gives you a good idea on where you've been. The Nano Protect is only a trademark, trade name. This particular product from Germany comes in uh, various um, names and trademarks. But it's high count nano that you want. Uh, it's not polymer or silicon blend, it's got uh, nanotechnology fused into it. Of course this is the second section or at least the second step down this pane. I generally do three separate areas. And this is how thick it should be. Okay, so now the shower is shielded, we've gone and applied the nanotechnology onto the glass. This is just simply some of our corporate and marketing branding. Now, this is what happens if you don't shield a shower and don't look after it. Check that out. This is what we can do with restorations. A core part of our business is to clean showers back. This is a partial restoration. The centre of the shower has been restored. And of course, Nano Protect branding again. Thanks very much for watching. We're looking forward to your business.